Two of Springfield, Missouri's most renowned and revered citizens, Gypsy Blanchard and her mother, Dee Dee, taking center stage. At a Relay for Life event to raise money for the American Cancer Society. You're the reason I was born to be your mom. But the sickly and often secluded Gypsy believes she too has found her guardian angel, not at home in her mother, but online with a man, Nick Godijohn. She was in love with him. She thought that he was going to be the prince that came and finally saved her and got her out of her locked tower, and they'd live happily ever after. Look at some of the messages the love-struck teenager sends a friend about her Prince Charming. I met a wonderful guy. He's my first boyfriend. He gives me poems and is so romantic. She was talking about this new guy that she was now in love with and that they had met on a Christian dating site and that they were already planning on naming their children after him. We want a snow wedding in a gazebo with red and white roses. Honestly, what I was thinking whenever I saw these messages is that these were just like fantasies and dreams. But on their shared Facebook page, the harsh reality is what people saw. Dee Dee presented as a very doting mother. This was her child, she knew she was sick, and she was just going to love her unconditionally until she couldn't anymore. But then comes the day when family friends Kim and David are horrified when something very different popped up on Gypsy and Dee Dee's Facebook page, a very vulgar post. It said, the bitch is dead. I instantly took it as their Facebook account had gotten hacked. Then we saw the second one, which said, and I raped her sweet daughter, too. Kim and David race to the little pink house. No one seems to be home, but their new car is in the driveway. We circled the house, knocked on all the doors and windows. I called the police and let them know that we needed a wellness check done on a disabled mother and daughter and they said that they would send somebody out. We have breaking news. The body of 48-year-old Claudinia Blanchard has been found. Gypsy is still missing this morning. And a huge police presence. The crime tape was up around the house. And you just can't forget that pink house with the wheelchair ramp. I see a stretcher come out of the house, and there's a sheet over a body. And I just start sobbing. I thought it was Dee Dee. We found Dee Dee Blanchard uh, deceased and uh, of a violent nature. Uh, we were still actively looking for Gypsy. Then we really panicked because, oh my gosh, somebody has kidnapped Gypsy. Tell me about the moment when you heard that something happened to Dee Dee and that Gypsy was missing. Uh, you know, I was shocked. I was like, what, really? I couldn't understand it. Why would somebody do this to this child? You know, no wheelchair, no medication, they could just leave her for dead. Authorities move quickly and hit pay dirt when they trace the IP address of those profane Facebook posts to a small house 600 miles away in Big Bend, Wisconsin, at the home of Nick Godijohn, Gypsy's boyfriend. Who is Nick Godijohn? He functions at about a 15 or 16 year old. He is a kid that sort of is similar to Gypsy from the standpoint of not really having a normal social interaction history that most kids would have had up to that point. They go to the house. There's some sort of standoff for a period of time. They have to bring the SWAT team there. When authorities enter the home, they take both into custody. We started hearing from various sources that Gypsy wasn't a victim. She wasn't kidnapped, that she was actually involved in this somehow. It was beyond shocking. We have located uh, Gypsy in another state. Uh, she is OK. Uh, we do have another person of interest in custody. I'm Detective Hancock. I'm with Green County Sheriff's Office. Um, your mom's dead. Wait, well, yes. what, what? She's deceased, all right? Now, what I want to ask you, did you have involvement in this? No. Hang on, hang on, hang on, listen to me. What happened with your mom that night? Um, I don't know what happened okay. with my mom at all. Okay, you, you know what happened to your mom. Okay, you know exactly. I, I, I'm not going to play around with this, okay? Sorry, I didn't Listen do anything. To me. While Gypsy keeps mom in the interrogation room, what does the other one say? Apparently, from what she told me, her mom kicked her out of her house. Okay. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.